there and welcome to My Memory Suite version 3 short and sweet video tutorial series. I'm Lisa J and I help host the Facebook page and blog for My Memories. I'm super excited to be here to share this new video tutorial series with you. We'll be showing off some of the features and functions that are available in the latest edition of My Memories digital scrapbooking software. Version 3 added some great functionality and versatility to an already feature packed software program. Today we're going to take a quick peek at one of those features and we'll be viewing one of those features in each of the upcoming videos. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet, but stay tuned to our blog, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel for more video tutorials to come. Currently you can find answers to most of your questions by visiting our Facebook page, our blog, and our website, which is www.mymemories.com. Dot com. But if you don't see what you, what you need to know, just ask. There's almost always someone there to help. Or you can email me directly at lisaj at mymemories.com. So let's get to it today. Um, I'm going to be covering how you use Quick Pages in your software. Um, it's a question that we get asked quite frequently, and it's pretty simple. It just um, it goes about it a little bit differently than some of the other things. So I'm going to walk you through the process. Um, we'll keep it short and sweet, keep it on topic, and you can refer to some of the other videos for more details about some of the other things you might want to know. So um, when you first come into your software, you will be, uh, you'll come up to the new album options screen, which you can see here on my computer. And what you will do, um, I'm going to just use a design your own project for this short uh, little tutorial, but you can always add a quick page to a designer template or any other project that you already have going. Remember that you can always add blank pages and pull all of that uh, information in. We'll cover some of that in more great detail um, in other videos, but today we're going to talk just about quick pages just so we can get through um, all the information you need to know to use them. Remember when you are in the uh, My Memories website, everything that is a quick page will um, be designated in the title of the uh, kit that you see. So if you're looking for things that are only quick pages, make sure you just search with that in the name. Um, this one here, um, I've downloaded a couple of freebies from the free kit section of the software, uh, excuse me, from the website. <clears throat> and you can always find freebies in there. You can also keep um, uh, an eye on your favorite designers Facebook page or website or blog a lot of times they'll give away uh, quick pages that uh, match sets that they're putting in the shops so it's a very good idea to kind of um, follow along with uh, people that you really like their their design style this one happens to be called May flowers quick page and this is from Armina designs and this is a freebie that's in the uh, in the design shop right now remember that whenever you're at the mymemories.com website and you're browsing around the uh, the uh, design shop <clears throat> that down at the bottom under the product categories it will tell you where this will install so when you have it added to your software if if you use it in my memories and add those to your software this is how you'll know where to find it so remember to take a quick peek at the product category and sometimes make a note of that if you uh, want to remember where you'll find them so uh, we'll look for this one in a few minutes when we get into the software but that's uh, that's how you find them um, remember that when you're over in the download section after you've finished your purchase and you're into the download section, you'll find all of your kits by name here, their, uh, their um, matching designer here, and here's where you have the option to download it directly into your software and have it uh, self-install into your Windows computer, your Mac uh, computer, or as a general download if by chance you don't use my memory software or if you like to download all your content and keep it in your own organizational system so that you can access it that way. Either way works great. It's just a little bit different way to approach the same situation. So I'm going to go back over to the software now and I'm going to click design your own which will allow us to go through just a one page project and I'll show you how these work. We may actually add a couple of pages so I can show you a couple of different things but we'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to click design your own and that will bring me up to the album uh, options that I need to choose. I'm going to just uh, choose a square album because the the majority of quick pages are designed as square quick pages. Um, keep in mind that you can change any of that. Um, there are some uh, designers who have put together some eight and a half by 11 uh, layouts or brag books, which may be five by seven or four by six. So you can always set up to match what you're using. I've just chosen a square album for the ones that I'm going to be uh, demonstrating with today. So I'm going to choose a square album and I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on the 12 by 12 just because that makes it easier to get through the, um, the processing of it. So I'm going to click OK 
and that will set up um, a one-page uh, album for us. Remember that in the software you have the ability to make your page match the size of your screen. So uh, as you can see here, my laptop screen is a little bit uh, smaller than my than my page display area. So um, sometimes I can't see my entire page at the same time. So I'm going to go down here to the Zoom tool and I'm going to choose Fit to Window. And now I can view my whole page on the screen at the same time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also turn off the uh, the uh, Printing guides um, because I won't be needing those for this Th that can easily be done with control R or you can go up to view and guides and remove guides here So that's just a couple of quick things that I always do when I'm setting up a new project now um, The quick pages that we have are that I already have downloaded just to save some time are already installed in my software And I'll be pulling them up through um, the um, the access panels directly in my software. Remember that there are ways that you can pull in outside content just as easily and I'll go through those really quick as uh, we get to that as well. Um, although quick pages look like background papers because they are designed to really cover the majority of your page and look like a background paper that you installed and then layered all the things on top of it, because they are designed with a transparent area to allow you to layer your photos underneath instead of bringing them in as background papers as you might think we're going to go down to embellishments and bring them in that way because we need to retain the transparency so our openings stay visible so we can layer our photographs underneath those so i'm just going to make sure that we go down to embellishments because we're going to bring them in as an embellishment so that they retain their uh their transparency. We can find them if we go through the um, the photos tab, but anything that's brought in as a photograph or as a background paper isn't going to work properly because the transparency gets messed up if you bring it in that way. So I'm going to go to embellishments and I'm going to click add and remember like I said that I have installed mine into my software. If I decided not to and I have them stored on my computer any place else, all I would do is click this browse other button which will allow me to navigate to any place on my computer that I have those stored and bring them in that way. They'll still come in as embellishments, they'll still work properly, but these are just things that, that I haven't installed into my software. In the case of the ones that I'm using to demo, um, I have installed those into my software um, through those download steps and they'll be uh, easily locatable here. So I'm going to click purchased because that's where everything will be that I have either um, downloaded from mymemories.com or um, at, even as a freebie or um, any of those things there. So I'm going to look for the um, category. Remember we looked at the category when we were over in the design shop and the one that I will be looking for that's called May Flowers is under the everyday category. So I'm going to click that, um, double click that or click the little plus sign here uh, which will expand that category and then I'm going to go down to where it says May Flowers Quick Page and that will show me the image of the quick page. Now the designer templates function a little bit differently in my memories so make sure you know what you're purchasing when you download it from the shop. Anything that says template in the name will look similar on the screen because it's a pre-designed page but the templates are um, able to be manipulated in a way that quick pages can't be. Quick pages are downloaded as one single image and that's what you get in your download. The, uh, the designer templates also give you folders with all of the items that are used to create those pages but the quick pages have just the one single image for your download so remember I'm gonna I've gone into every day then I found the quick page set that I want as you can see there's other ones listed in here too there's a uh, some other great quick page options um, I've down I downloaded a few of them um, uh, flutter my eyes rescue me the candy cherry cordial set from story rock all of those are great options and all you have to do is search quick page in the uh, design shop to find all of those. But I'm going to go ahead and click on the one quick page image. If it's a set of quick pages, you'll see more than one image here like the candied cherry has uh, a number of different ones. This just this isn't a freebie set, but this is a great uh, set of options here. And as you can see, they have different layouts, they have different shaped photographs, and all of those can be customized for what you need. I'll just go ahead and show you with one that is a freebie so if you want to just give it a shot and try it out you can do that. We'll come back to the others in just a minute if we have time. Okay I'm going to click the quick page image and then I'm going to click apply. Now it depends on how the designer has sized it when they have set it for uh, for upload. This one happens to download or upload to your page 
<clears throat> already full size. If by chance it doesn't and when the quick page is added it looks more like this, then it's very easy to just uh, drag it up to the corner of the page and then just pull by one of the corners. Unless you want to uh, stretch it, then you can do it that way. Sometimes that just will um, distort the uh, photo openings and all that. So pull it by one of the corners and enlarge it to cover the whole page. And then you can see that it looks like a pre-designed page. The only thing that you have are the white areas that are left blank for you to show your photograph through. You can always add shadows um, again, which will which will not shadow all of the elements on the quick page itself, but it will give a nice little shadowed look to the um, to the openings of your photo. So it does give the page a little bit of a shadowed look. Okay, now um, there's a couple of different ways that you can move on from here because the next step would be to add your photos to your page. Now remember that you can always add other things to the quick pages and their design, but um, you cannot remove anything that is on your page. You can cover it up with something else or you can purchase the kit that goes along with it and embellish it further, but the quick page is just one single image that's not able to be manipulated. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the Photos tab and there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I'm going to go ahead and add a photo box because that's just kind of how I like to work it. I'm going to size it to, to cover the, uh, the image opening uh, that I've got here. And in this case, um, because it is a different shape, I'm going to click the Shape button over here on the Photos panel. And then I'm going to click a circle because that's obviously the shape that I want to uh, match up to here. And then I'm going to enlarge it just a hair bigger than what you see the uh, the photo opening here uh, for. Now sometimes you have to play around with the layers a little bit to get it to uh, to layer properly, but I'm going to just go through that pretty quickly. So once I have my photo box added on here, I'm going to drag a photo into it. And then you can see it takes the size and shape of the photo that I already have, uh, the box that I already have added to my page. And then I'm going to right click this and then I'm going to send it to the back so it's layered underneath my picture. Um, what you can also do is you can have all of your pictures. Let's just undo that and let me add a couple more pictures here for you. I'm going to again add another photo box and keep in mind that you may need to layer these a little bit differently based on uh, how they'll fall in the uh, in the layout that the designer has set, but it's pretty easy to get them stacked up the right way. You just have to kind of, sometimes you just have to wiggle them around a little bit. Um, again, I'm just going through the same exact steps that we already talked about to make a little photo box that's the same size and shape as each of the openings on my page. Um, sometimes you just have to adjust them a little bit um, there. You can see that these are layered in such a way that they should look right, but we I'll just have to see when we get finished to tweak it. Um, I'm going to drag a photo into uh, both of these other boxes. Um, to make this uh, quick and easy, I'm just going to use the same picture a couple of times because um, you'll get the idea. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is the best layout or the best picture for this option, but you'll be able to see what I mean. Okay, now there are a couple of different things that you can do from here. Like I did before, you can either click on the photo and right click and use the menu options here to send it backward. Or in this case, because I have multiple photographs, it's really easier to add all your photos on top and then just click on the quick page image itself. And also you can right click to use the layer um, ordering menu here, or you can use the, uh, the ordering little button here. Um, up top. So I'm going to just bring the quick page image back to the front and now you'll see that it's layered over top of all the pictures. And now you can see all the little frames. You can see um, that they're layered in the right way. Sometimes you'll get, if you don't do them in the right order as they are in the layout, you may just have to adjust because this picture may you may see it through this little hole here because it's layered above uh, the other ones on your uh, on your layout. Now I'm going to add another page real quick and I'm going to go back through the same steps and show you with the other uh, kit that we had there, the uh, the Candied Cherry Cordial set. I'm going to pick um, one of the other layouts. Uh, here this one has just a large page image and uh, it works very much the same way. Um, and then I'll show you with a... And this one also is set to layer to... Um, a full size page. Remember, like I said, we can add a shadow if we want to, which just gives the page itself a little bit more depth. Um, I'm going to go back up and I'm going to add a photo box real quick. I'm going to size it to cover just a hair larger than the uh, than the image that I have uh, open the opening that I have for my image. Um, I'm going to change it to the right shape so it matches up a little bit better. And then I'm going to just drag um, my photograph into it 
and then I'm going to bring the quick page back to the front. So now you can see very easily how those work. All of the photo tools work, um, you know, to, to alter your pictures before you add them. Um, and then when you move to the next page, let's go ahead and just try to remember every couple of steps. Oh, let's actually not do that because I'll have to set up the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to add up one more. Um, I'm going to add one more blank page and just show you uh, another one real quick that has multiple square pictures and it's the same the same type of process you'll just go through the steps to add more than one photo box in here you'll you'll see how they're uh, um, laid out it helps sometimes to add the shadows because then you can see especially if the designer has created a white frame around the picture it makes it a little bit easier to uh, to see where the photographs will lay now with this one it'll be a little bit easier because the photos are already square but it's the same sort of process and remember that if the photos look a little tilted here you have the rotate slider to uh, to rotate your photo boxes just a hair to match up with the angle of the picture here. Um, you can also use the corners of your photo boxes to rotate those uh, gradually as well. So um, whenever your cursor turns into a little um, little half circle there, that will uh, uh, rotate that for you. Now in this case, because the photo boxes are all the same size, I'm going to take a little shortcut and I'm going to copy and then paste my photo box is on there so I don't have to create a new one each time uh, for that. So that one's about the same angle. This one you can see needs to be angled back a little bit the other way, but it's very much the same process. I'm going to just move it there. Um, I'm going to again add um, just this photo I happen to have on my desktop already just to make it easy. And then um, once those are all layered into those boxes, uh, this one I'm going to nudge up just a little bit with my with my arrow keys on my keyboard just to kind of nudge it into place and then I'm gonna click on the quick page image itself uh, right click and then bring it to the front and now you can see how easy those are to, to work okay that really is how easy it is to work with quick pages in your software remember that the, the quick pages often coordinate with another kit if you would like to pick up those kits to mix and match um, sometimes it's great to do a few pages yourself and then throw in a quick page um, just to give it a, a real professional feel uh, design wise so you always have that option um, as always if you need additional help or more information please feel free to email me directly at lisa j at mymemories.com or you can also uh, post a note on our Facebook page. There is almost always someone there to help. If not, usually they can point you in the direction uh, that you need to go to get the information that you need. Um, have a great day. Um, if you need anything else, be sure to contact me, and I will see you on Facebook. Thanks again for your time and attention.